I've noticed this thing with myself where I've got my regular taste in movies and then I've got my uh my mile high uh taste buds as well where um and it mainly comes down to action movies I've noticed where I'm not a huge action movie fan <laughs> on the ground but get me in the get me in a fucking plane I will pretty much just go to the action movie collection on the screen first and foremost and um it's interesting i don't really know why i think that uh you know if i'm gonna analyze it let's say there's a really good movie i want to watch here's a good example a couple weeks ago i was coming back from panama i watched the cape blanchett movie tar really good movie heard rave reviews about it been wanting to watch it but because it's something I actually wanted to watch. I was afraid that the airplane experience would diminish the, the experience. Like it would be better to be able to be like post up on my couch, get comfortable and actually engage with it properly as opposed to this flight. And it was fucking annoying because you know, they were doing the announcements in both English and Spanish, and then there was turbulence put on the fucking seatbelts, all that jazz. So luckily it was a good enough movie and I enjoyed it still, but it was mainly just because there was nothing else I wanted to watch. If there had been a decent, not even a decent fucking action movie, I would have gone for something else and waited to watch Tar in another format. I also feel like watching Tar on the plane, I didn't really see it. If you catch my drift or it's like a, a plane watched it and I might have to see it again to feel like I properly watched it. There's also the other issue where, uh, you, <laughs> if you watch so just some of the scandalous shit you can watch on planes. Now I'm in the back with all the animals. And so you crammed in there and I can, essentially see what everyone is watching in the two rows uh in front of me and i remember i was when i watched that uh that gay call me by your name movie about the gay uh lovers the timothy shell my pussy and um the guy who was threatening to eat cunts what's his name arnie army hammer not, not just eat cunts. Uh, he's eating dick in this movie. He's eating cunts in real life. And he's threatening to, you know, chop you up and uh, and munch you down as as some aftercare after you munch, after munching you. And so anyway, I was watching that. And then I, I kind of knew it was going to be like, yeah, it's going to be some gay stuff in this, but like, can't be that bad. They wouldn't put it on the plane, right? If it wasn't that bad. It's pretty bad. There was a kid behind, just behind me, like a nine-year-old or something. And I'm like, great. You can, you, you poor old man's going to have to have a fucking weird conversation with you when you touch down because me, the art house fucking weirdo, the brothers from the brother from wedding crashes is watching some fucking, some Italian gay shit. And you're going to have to contend, you know, you're going to have to contend with that now. This poor old man. So anyway, there's maybe some like self consciousness in terms of the uh, the flicks that you pick. But if you just pick a straight up and down action movie, you can't go fucking wrong. I think maybe like one of the um the most euphoric, best plane experiences I've ever had. I watched The Martian, the Matt Damon movie. That at that point where they he's there's that montage and David Bowie's Starman is playing. I think it had a couple of fucking couple of valleys, couple of couple of bevies, and I was feeling I was feeling real good. I felt like dancing when that one came on. I was the star man. Uh, but that was that was a good movie for a plane. I guess it's probably because it, it's about air travel in a sense as well. Um, but take you can even movies you'd never consider watching on the ground can be decent in the plane. Here's one for you. 
there's this movie starring Adrian Brody called Clean. Came out in 2021. And essentially the whole movie is seems to be that there's two things going on. Number one, Adrian Brody used it as an excuse to show off that he's got a decent body in his 40s. It's like, Brody, we get it. You were the skinny, you were the skinny cunt in the pianist, and you've been bulking since. We get it, bro. Just lots of opportunities for him to be a tough cunt. And then he's also um he slipped in some of his music as well. Like he did the music on it, some trip hop beats. And it honestly had a bit of like a a college student effect. You know, when someone's kind of like the the Marty Scorsese of the film department and they're like, I can do everything. Let me do the music as well. And the music was, there was something not quite right. And that's not a good example. He's not, he wasn't the Marty Scorsese. It's kind of like when someone is making a movie and then one of the main actors goes, oh, my brother makes beats. And they're like, well, we don't have a budget. So we're definitely using your brother's slightly subpar Fiverr-esque trip hop beats for all the musical interludes in this movie. And it was, yeah, Clean is basically about this dude who uh, has a harrowing past with drugs and alcohol and all this family drama in his past. He gets clean and then he just wants to be a fucking garbage man in some like shithole in uh, upstate New York. And then he gets embroiled in some, he notices some organized crime activity and he's like, don't make me do this. And he gets involved and he basically becomes a vigilante. And on the on the plane, it was decent. It would be unwatchable on the ground. But for some reason, I was vibing to them trip trip hop beats. And I hadn't had any valleys or bevies that time. So I don't know what's the vibe. Also, maybe I'm kind of like, I don't want to pick anything too emotional because you are like in a vulnerable state you're slightly on edge on a plane just because the potential catastrophe is it it's going to unfold at any moment so maybe i'm just being a bloke and being like yeah just throw in an action movie that's that'll do me um because i don't want to cry in public on a in a fucking metal capsule around all these strangers so they're my they're my thoughts uh simple action movies do the job on a plane by default because you don't want to necessarily pick something where the experience will be subpar. Uh, but yeah, there is something where it's like they are some unwatchable movies, unwatchable action movies somehow become watchable. Tell me your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking.